6 o'clock on a Saturday morning. Yeah, right there. I knew I wanted to get this done. I'm going to try to trade this in in order to get a push lawnmower with a self propel and a bagger for this leaf season. Um, these leaves are pretty crazy. I need to get out there and take care of those. What is she doing over there? Come here. <laughs> Come here. I don't know if y'all can see inside there and see that screen. It's gonna be in there. There's a screen back there in the back. Anyway, took the gas tank off and uh, washed it out with water. Well, I didn't put a little coke through there. As I did this. I soaked this in coke last night because I didn't have any carb cleaner. But I got that little pinhole all cleaned out and it should be good to go. I'm going to let this dry out in the sun because I don't want to take it apart. I'm going to put this back together. This little jet that goes in the carburetor next to the float. And I'm trying to get this thing started up. Together, I'm about to try to start it. that done um, I'm on my new project knowing I told y'all I wanted to try to trade that lawnmower that I bought off the guy for 50 bucks to get me something like this uh, self propel well I found one of these on Facebook guys um, I found it on Facebook he had a price of 200 on it now there are three in between 350 and 400 brand new but um he said it was starting and it wasn't staying started. But when I met him at the little store or whatever, he didn't want me to come to his house. I understand that. When I met him at the store, it wouldn't even start. He said, yeah, man, I got it to start. It was running. I, I was cutting with it today. I was like, okay, you know. But uh, it wouldn't start. So I was just like, well, man, you know, I'll give you 100 for it. And he was like, you know, how about 130 Because I didn't want to take less than 200 It's you know, this lawnmower is like three something. I'm like, yeah, but it's a 2016, you know. And, uh, you know, it's, he told me he only had it for a couple of years. He bought it brand new and he only used it like nine times. When somebody is like that specific, kind of, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to take this carburetor off. It's just like that TV 100 over there. It's a Briggs and Stratton, same motor. So I'm going to take this off. I bought some of this nifty stuff from Ace Hardware. It's a, just a cleaner degreaser. Um, you can't use the regular stuff because it's meant for metal parts, and these carburetors are are plastic. So uh, got some of that because I actually I took that apart on the first part of the video. You know it wasn't cranking at all, so I got it to cranking it, but it would stay on for a couple seconds and cut off. So what I did was went and bought some of this, took it back apart, cleaned it up with that, and uh, that ended up being what it was and I'm gonna do the same for this so stay tuned I'm excited about this one because you know I wouldn't say I'm a Toro person but I might be after this one because I needed a self propel and this is a nice machine I'm liking it already just looking at it take the gas tank off because um, I noticed there are some deposits in there I don't know if y'all can see those white these two little white things right there there are deposits that are inside the 
gas tank in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it up. I don't know if y'all can see in there, but I'm gonna clean it up, rinse it out with some water, let it let the sun hit it, which there's not much sun today. It was raining earlier, but uh I'll spray with a little bit of this stuff right here. Inside, let it sit for a while, clean it out, put it all back together, clean the carburetor out, of course. I haven't taken that off yet. Well, actually, I have. So, got the carb off. I'm going to take this bowl off the bottom, these two screws right here, these two nuts, screws rather, bolts, and then I'm going to clean a, clean a little jet that's inside of there, take that off, clean that up, put it back together. Just wanted to show y'all. See that crud in there? Those deposits in there? I hope you can. That crap was in in my carburetor. That's the bottom of the carburetor bowl there. So look at all that crud in there. I mean it's it's bad. Worst I've ever seen. Not that I've seen a lot, but my little jet looks clear. I can see you see the you can see the light coming through there. So I mean that's that's very surprising. I'm still gonna get a needle, stick it in there, clean it up, spray this thing up, clean it up real good, and uh, put it back together. My keys. All right, so I got it all put together. Here goes nothing, y'all. Uh oh, something like that. That doesn't feel right. What happened there? Oh, that was weird. Right here, this little thing right here kind of came out of there and it wasn't engaging. I'm glad I got that together. Okay. Take two. Like the new cut grass, Lisa? Mm -hmm. 